Welcome back to The Breakdown. Today we're going to be taking a look at Ugreen's 100 watt USB-C charger. This is a dual USB-C charger that can even max charge the new S23 um, phones from Samsung that require 45 watts. And not all 45 watt chargers even work with that to max charge in their standard. This one does. We're going to be looking at the pros and cons of this. A few catches you need to be aware of if, if you're trying to decide this is right for you and let you know what I think of it. First, a few disclaimers. This was not a review unit. I did buy it with my own money to test out and give you my thoughts on it. Second, um, if you wanna find this on Amazon to see the current pricing, because pricing changes so rapidly, um, I'll put a link to this in the show notes and in the first pinned comment down below. You can find it on Amazon there. And leave me a comment if you wanna ask a question. I'll do my best to answer them in the comments down below if I don't answer something here in this video. Lastly, before we get into it, if you're new here, hey, do me a favor, help me grow, help me support my family. Hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, let YouTube know you enjoy what we do here so YouTube recommends our videos to more people, helping me support my family, helping us grow. With that said, let's dive into it. Start off just looking at the product, showing you everything that came with it. it. Does have a foldable prong here, which makes this very nice for travel. Two USB-Cs with this. And that's about it. I do love that there is writing on it, but it's not too bold. I hate when you get a charger and there's big, bold colors. And I'm like, I just want this to kind of blend into the wall in my bedroom, living room, wherever it may be. Overall, it's a big charger, as you expect with a 100 watt, but not as big as other 100 watt chargers I've seen in the past. Let's take a look at everything that came with this. And I'll show you a few catches you need to be aware of. Starting off with the fact that this is 100 watts in total, not 100 watts per USB. So when you plug in multiple devices, it's going to split that 100 watts between multiple devices. But that still will allow you to max charge two S23 phones in one block, something that not a lot of chargers can do because it can give you those two true 45 watt charges. It can also go up to 65 watts in different ones with that. So you can get a 65 watt um, going and a 45 watt. This is actually powerful for a lot of laptops. It can max charge two laptops at once or max charge your S20 three, your iPhone, your Pixel, and Max Charge, a standard laptop up to a 45 watt laptop with it. Now it's important to note that some laptops do require more wattage. For example, MacBook Pros can go 100 watts or higher with that, so keep that in mind. Make sure you know what your laptop is um, rated for and what's meant to be used. Overall, I was very impressed with it. It does a very good job of charging my devices. In our testing, everything uh, we plugged in, Max charged with it exactly like we expected. Phones, pixels, tablets, and more. Sometimes get asked, you know, what does it mean? If I have my device is only a 20 watt, will this be bad for it? No, this will actually just detect your phone only needs 20 watts and downgrade to match that um, charging rate for your phone. It'll just give whatever power your earbuds, phone, tablet, Nintendo Switch, or whatever it may be needs for that. Second with it, the heat was actually very good. Some devices in the 100 watts can get really hot. This has that new technology meant to help keep the heat um, distribution down on it. And it worked really well. I was very impressed with it. Very happy with the quality of this and the power it used. So overall, I'm gonna give this two thumbs up. Just be aware though, it's 100 watts in total, not 100 watts per port. Sometimes people buy devices like this and they plug two 100 watt laptops in and they are kind of surprised when the laptops aren't getting a full charge or reporting that this is insufficient for them it's because it's 100 watts in total between the two ports. So keep that in mind. But for most laptops, they're 45 watts. Very few laptops go over 100 watts with that. I know there are some. And this will max charge most phones on the market. It will uh, max charge most tablets, wireless earbuds, the Nintendo Switch, and more. Making this a great device to take with you when you travel to charge both your phone and your laptop all at once with a single device. So I'm going to give this two thumbs up. The quality was excellent. Everything worked as it should. We had no issues. Nothing felt like it was cheap or poorly made. We were very happy with the quality of it. So with that said, I'll put a link to this on Amazon in the first pinned comments and the show notes. If you have any questions I didn't answer, leave me a comment. I'll do my best to answer them down below. Um, but until next time, take care, be safe. Thanks for your support. We really appreciate it.